18 to 21 year olds. <laughs> Keeps you young there. Uh, good week, big week for us. Um, obviously, in the heart of camp, uh, this will be our most physical week uh, with four full pad days and a scrimmage uh, on Saturday. It'll be a good uh, test uh, on our kids as well as, you know, defining a lot of roles coming out of this second scrimmage. Um, you know, first scrimmage wise, uh, I know I didn't get to talk to you Saturday, just thoughts. I thought defensively flew around ext extremely well. Uh, we really went into uh, the scrimmage offensively looking at uh, a lot of young kids uh, to see kind of where they're at and what the reality was. Uh, not playing Drake for th that day and, and really limiting Keenan a little bit. Wanted to see the two young quarterbacks play. I thought the offensive line uh, in pass pro and run did a, did a nice job. Uh, I was pleased with Brandon Campbell really stepping up, and I thought he had a nice day offensively. Uh, and it was good to see Kyle Ford uh, make some plays. I was really happy for him. He's gaining confidence by the day. He had another good day today out here making some big plays. Defensively, I thought just the attitude and the effort that they showed consistently throughout the day, uh, with the exception of maybe the two-minute drive at the end, um, I, I thought they had a stellar day. Uh, the, really, the personality of T.O. and the confidence of Coach Orlando was really rubbing off uh, on those guys. Uh, on the injury front, uh, just two updates. One, Adonis Ote uh, had surgery on a broken bone in his hand. It will be extended. Um, we'll see how long it goes, but it could be season ending. Uh, and then um, uh, Bam Allen uh, ended up having an ACL uh, that uh, is going to uh, require, obviously, require surgery. Uh, and that uh, will take him out for this season. So with that, uh, I'll answer any questions that you have. What's the reason for Casey Collier's absence? Do you expect him back? Yeah, yeah, he's actually coming back tomorrow. He had to run home uh, for personal reasons, and he'll, he'll be back. He gets back in tomorrow morning, and uh, we'll be back with us this week. What does that leave him in camp and his progress, his development, and everything? Uh, he'll be he'll jump right back in and, and be able to jump back in. Obviously, young player that's developing. Um, you know, we've been fortunate to to be able to work as you've seen out there from from Jalen to, to Jonah to Andrew Voorhees. Got some got some reps out there. Corbin Ford have him back. I tell you what, Mason Murphy has done a really nice job too. Had a really good scrimmage. Had a good last week. Is really ahead as a freshman. So got some good candidates. It'll be good to get Casey back. And get him going. You didn't see Chris Steele out there. ITS, I know, was on yeah, the Yeah, he, he was out for uh, health and safety protocols. Just was feeling under the weather. The weather this morning just Chris, the, sorry. Chris Steele. Okay. Yeah, it was just under the weather. Uh, wanted to make sure everything was good with him. And uh, uh, who was the other one? ITS was on the. Yeah, ITS just banged knees last week. Had had a bruised knee that caused a little bit of swelling. It was on that operational knee, so we wanted to just make sure that calmed down. He's feeling a lot better today. I, I would expect him back later in the week. Any hope of getting Keontae and Darwin? Yeah, I, I actually watched him. I don't know if you got to see him today, but I, I think Keontae's really close. Um, hoping to get him back sometime this week he, uh, with that uh, kind of foot ankle sprain. Um, he, you know, and Darwin is uh, Darwin is probably maybe about a week away, uh, maybe later this week. But look, both of them looked a, a lot better than uh, than the end of last week. And, and Gary Bryan is also progressing with that ham. So they're really close. We just want to be, at, since we're so close to the season, we don't want to set back. So we're making sure they're 100%. How close is Solo uh, to joining the team? Contact. Um, you know what? It, it's so neat to see him out here and actually doing individual drills and really um, gaining confidence a, a little bit more. You know, it, it's you know, there's three things that got to happen. Um, one, just being medically cleared. Right now, he's medically cleared for individual work. Um, you know, not we're not in the contact phase with him right now. Um, and then his confidence level. I think that's building. And then just in my gut feel and my gut of how he looks and, and how he's performing. And, and right now. We're we're taking little steps you know here's a kid that god bless him i mean it's been almost three years with two different injuries and we just want to make sure it's right i mean him and jordan and i so if i come back uh it'll be hard for me not to get this di uh, to see those two kids back on the field the sequence when drake looked pretty much unblockable for five or six plays uh, yeah. what was it like watching him out there yeah. uh drake jackson with fresh legs is a dangerous <laughs> thing uh you know and, and really nice to have him back you, you could see um how valuable he is 
we, we really want coming out of the scrimmage wanted to put ourselves in a little bit more of live pass rush so we dropped the seven on seven today and the scale wanted our quarterbacks to get a little bit more live fire and see them uh, with the bullets flying uh, and having to make full speed decisions and so um, it gave us a great example uh, a great opportunity also to work our pass rush fundamentals and and Drake took full advantage of that on both sides it's great having him back out obviously he's one of the best players in the country and somebody we're going to count on. Yeah, uh, Jamar is in health and safety protocol, uh, and then um, uh, uh, Corey has got a little bit of a groin strain. He, he fought through it um, Saturday, did a really nice job with it, uh, was a little bit sore today, tried it uh, early, which we appreciated, and then just pulled him back because it, it, was, it was a little tight on him. So try to get him back healthy. I don't see it being too long. Jackson, Jackson had the three touchdowns on Saturday, and then uh, Miller comes back today with three big passes. How would you feel about the way he responded? Yeah, he, you know, I, I really – that's kind of why we wanted to give – uh, these guys more uh, kind of live fire, you know, that we felt that they had done a nice, a lot of nice things in early, er, earlier in the camp with just a, a nice world, a seven on seven, one on one world, very accurate passers. But a lot of things change when, when bullets start flying in. And coming out of Saturday's uh, scrimmage, our evaluation was we really needed to put those young quarterbacks and prepare them even more. And it's good for Keaton too, um, to, to be prepared for, you know, live action uh, when you have to step up and make that same throw that was really easy in seven and seven and one on one. So it was good to see Miller react. He, you know, he, he was off and on on Saturday uh, and then really stepped back, got challenged and stepped back today and made some nice plays. Him and Jackson are really competing well against each other. Are you concerned about F's Turpto? It looks like he's in the Yeah, you, you know, right now there's a plan for him. That, you know, it could, you know how Turpto goes are, especially at that position. If it was an uh, offensive lineman, you could probably still play it and get away with it. But, you know, you're talking about a guy that runs 20 plus miles per hour and can cut on a dime. It's going to take a little bit. Uh, you know, it's probably three, four weeks uh, out. So we'll, we'll see where it's at. The good thing is, is he's got a great attitude about it. He's in, he's in the training room 24 uh, seven. And, uh, you know, I really feel like he'll progress nicely. He'll be close for the first game. We'll see. You, you and other coaches talked about this being a big weekend that you would even learn a lot. Mm -hmm. Are there any specific position groups where you're really taking a close look this week? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I think one to you know establish a, a, a first string wideout group across the board with what healthy bodies are there and what they're going to be. Um, it's also we're trying to marry up what the best personnel groups are really, Scott. To also offensively, is it going to be 11? Is it going to be 20 with those backs? You know, is it going to be 10? You know, is it going to be 12? with the number of tight ends we have. You know, I, I saw I saw Michael Trigg make a phenomenal play today. And I walked up to him, I said, we really need to learn the plays as fast as humanly possible <laughs> because he, he has a he has an advanced body and advanced skill set and he's learning the playbook as fast as he can. So I think from the skilled athletes outside, just getting a feel for who's the best for and what's the best personnel group right now. Um, I think obviously, you know, establishing who the tackles are gonna be, uh, you know, that may be a little bit uh, more extended defensively. Um, right now, it, it's probably um, to get probably get that front four on the defensive line, which is starting to come together, I feel, now having Drake back out here, get them a good week of work, see where we are health-wise, and, and see who are the first four that walk out there and then who the second four, so it's kind of that. Is there a point in which you hope to know who those offensive tackles are before game week, just to give them that a chance to have some chemistry? Yeah, the so the what we're gonna end up doing, uh, all right, we'll, we'll end up going through this week as far as scrimmage and be able to at least get a feel for where that too deep is, you know, um, not to say that there's guys that are still competing to be starters, you know, uh, it's close battles out there, but you kind of get a feel for who those first two groups are going to be and which side they're going to be on so you can lock them in uh, to those sides and, and let them work, you know, so, but no, they'll, they'll still compete all the way up there because you don't know, you could go one day and have an injury and the next guy's up. So, but we'll get, we'll get a semblance of the, the, the two deep for the offensive line next week, allow them to still compete, but you'll kind of get a feel for where they're at, where they're positioned as far as what their, what their job and assignment will be. All righty guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.